Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about something very, very specific. And I'm going to be talking about the relationship between the reluctor wheel, which is this right here, and the um, crank sensor and the cam sensor. Or the angle position sensors, whatever you want to call them, the crank and the cam, whatever. What happens to these things a lot of times, a lot of people are not aware of this. But once they've changed the timing belt on one, they may notice that it runs good and then all of a sudden it just stops. And they're like, why did this my car stop? I got a brand new timing belt, blah, 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 blah. Well, one of the first things to check is this right here, which is the reluctor wheel. And how this is designed, this thing just, just rides on the crank wheel and the camshaft one rides on the crank. I mean on the cam, the end of the cam. And how it works is this. See there's a little magnet in here. See, a little magnet. So every time the wheel turns around, it passes through there and it causes a current to come on and come off. And you notice there's a little timing mark on it. See it? Well, the computer's able to isolate the position of the crank and or the cam, therefore it knows the car's in time. Well, if one of these little rollers break and this thing slips a little bit, instead of it being in time, the computer is going to completely shut the car down and think that nothing's in time. That's because this sensor right here is what tells the gas to cut on, it tells the fuel injectors to fire, it tells the coils to fire, it tells every, these two sensors, there's tons of information the car gets from these two sensors that tells it to operate. So if one slips, game over. And it's the exact same wheel for the cam. I mean, it might not be the exact, but you know what I mean. It operates exactly the same. The cam has one, and it's right here. Let me show them. It's located right where my finger's pointing. You could, If you took that cam off, you would see it. And that's where the cam sensor goes. Okay, That's where it's located. And where the crank sensor is located is right down here. See the two screw holes? And it would just sit in there. It would be the... It would just be sitting right there on the back. Now, you're going to get all kinds of stories about this. You're going to get ones that people say, well, you only need the $7 piece. And of course, those people don't know about the back trim ring. You definitely need that. And they also don't understand what happens to these. You see this right here? These guys right here are broke off, which means you can't actually use this wheel anymore. Hang on one second. Let me grab a. Let me grab something to try to pull that out with. Maybe I can show you a little better. Yeah, it's moving. Okay, here we go. All right, so let's see if I can actually get this thing to see it. Oh, well, there goes one. It don't matter it ain't any good anymore. But if you took the time, and you could actually get these rollers out of here, which I had no problem with the first one, but the second one, oh well, not going to waste too much time on it, but you get the picture. Now, once this wheel is beat up like this, okay, forget that one for a second. Once the wheels beat up, here's the problem. You see inside the sensor, it's only got so much of a clearance. And so it's going to start beating it and beating it and beating it and it's going to break this sensor. Now you're down 150 bucks. So I would definitely spend, I think it's $40 and you get the uh, whole package. I'll give you the part number if you would like. Here it is. This is the finished product, the brand new product. You see the little ring on the back? They used to clamp it on there. The blades are completely straight. Everything's good. And... Is that a dealer only part? This is a dealer only part. I mean, you can get them off eBay, but like I said, every Kia dealership is going to stock these because they already know that this is a screw-up design, so they're going to be doing it. Stocking it. And here you go. There's your part number right there. Hold on. We're not getting that with the lighting. 
You can just screen save it. Mm. Something. Right, hang on. There we go. There we go. Give you something to pause there if you want to write down any of this information. But anyway, it's like forty dollars, whatever, thirty-five bucks. And the other thing that's key component about this thing that's really hard to understand. These things can, if they're off by even just a, the slightest bit, it will absolutely demolish the crank sensor or the cam. It will demolish it. And then your car will go, woo, 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 woo. it will not start. You're done, game over. So, anyway, I just want to go ahead and do a little video on this because, you know, it's got a little bit of mystery behind it. A lot of people don't understand how the crank sensor, it's such a, you know, taboo thing, and the cam sensor is such a taboo thing, and, you know, especially on these cars, you look it up, and I mean, damn, they're anywhere from a thousand to two thousand dollars just to do it for you. And truth of the matter is, anybody can do it for themselves. But if you've done it for yourself, I just want to make sure that you just take the extra forty dollars to take it to the next level. Therefore, you know, as an individual, you're working on your car, you've got that extra peace of mind that, hey, my my reluctor wheel. They might call it the crank angle sensor wheel, whatever they're calling it. Um, I've got peace of mind. I know it's good. I know my car can run good now, and I don't got to worry about it coming apart. All right, now I'm going to resume back to doing my timing belt job on this. I have two of them. I have an overview, and of course the one I'm producing right now, that this is actually going to be an insert of, is um, how to do it step by step. So if you have any questions, please look at one or the other. If you look at the overview, it's too much. Don't worry about the step-by-step. -step. It's going to be way too much. Anyway, guys, just having fun with you. Subscribe. If anything I can do to help you, give me a call. Peace.